What's up, everyone? I'm with Josh West, who has literally been uh, what is a citizen journalist on the ground <laughs> Boots here. Boots on the ground. Boots on the ground in Austin, just checking out all of the robo taxis. We know that the robo taxi ride sharing is going to be starting and launching on Sunday. Uh, but Josh, just tell us what has it been like on, on the ground? What's the vibe been like in Austin? But also, too, now that they're actually going to have this event, uh, what, what, what are your, all your thoughts on this? Yeah, so I mean, we were super pumped. Uh, we've been kind of cruising around the streets of uh, Austin. Um, it's kind of interesting. So when that first video kind of broke, where it sort of went viral, where is that the black robot taxi with the guy in the passenger seat and the chase vehicle, um, we went it's down crazy there. how that's like the iconic <laughs> moment. It is, Everyone right? just remembers it. Yes, so that was South Congress, south of the river. We found out where it was. And then I'm like, okay, well, where are they operating these robot taxis? Because we, we were driving around and we couldn't find them. And then I was like, okay, well, I went on X. And of course, X is the source for everything. And yes. I was like, every single sighting that was recorded, I went in and actually found out where those were and then put, got a map, put pins on the map and then built a route. And, it, wow. and then we went there and within 10 minutes of going to that route, we found the robo taxi. And then since then we found what I call the ghost robo taxis, which are the Model Y Junipers cruising around on unsupervised right. FSD, but they have somebody in the driver's seat. So again, you don't have to have the chase vehicle, you're not drawing all kinds of attention, but yet it's still testing the parameters of the new software and all that sort of thing. And then you have those LiDAR units, so the, those big roof racks, the validation units. And then there's the um, the second type of validation unit has that tall kind of spire on the top. I've only seen one of those, um, although Omar uh, Holmars, he posted a picture of one in San Francisco that's okay. testing here as well. Yeah. And then of course the black one with the gold logos and everything yep. booting around. And uh, yeah, just been an absolute ton of them. And watching what they're doing, the behavior of the vehicles is quite a bit different than even our FSD cars. You can tell that it's a, that it's a robot driving it. Um, they're, they're practicing, you know, going through construction sites and roundabouts and tight corners and blind corners, and then also pulling over and pretending to pick somebody up or drop somebody off. I've witnessed them wow. pulling into apartment buildings up to the front door. So off the public streets, going around cul-de-sacs and, you know, really kind of integrating themselves into the community driving down driveways and, and all that type of thing. So it's been super exciting. And then we got the news that uh, that they're launching. Literally the broke last night. And everybody said wasn't gonna happen. And now we've got invites out. So that's really exciting. I'm, I'm super pumped for everybody that's gonna get to try it out. And I think uh, I think everybody's gonna be surprised at uh, how much further along Tesla is than yeah. most things. Well, of course, I mean, Tesla never just does something like half-heartedly or just, te they, they their vision is scale, right? And they're doing everything for scale and hopefully, as it happens in Austin, they're ready to roll it out to other parts of Austin. Cause again, you already even mapped out what their current locations are, but right. hopefully they go to the greater Austin area. Oh, hundred percent. And so, um, but I think I, I loved how you just talked about how like, it seems like a lot of the things that are happening on the Robotaxi are pretty robotic or pretty mechanical, right? Uh, the blinker, oh my gosh. Oh, right, right. So, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, so, so the signal light. Yeah, yeah, so the signal light, but like what are those things that are mechanical that you're seeing that that the stand out. Yeah. yeah, so things that stand out to me that a human wouldn't be uh, doing is, for example, like when you and I change lanes, we're already inadvertently starting to move the vehicle over to that part of the lane to cross the dotted line, versus this thing is locked in like it's on rails, the signal light goes on, it's blink, blink, it's like four or five times, and then the vehicle moves over. Yeah. And it's always in like a perfect uh, pattern across that dotted line. And so it's very calculated, it's always dead center in the lane. And then the other cool thing is, when there's a blind corner, like a stop sign or something like that, and you can't see, it will actually stop at the line, pause, and then it'll like creep ahead. So it can kind of look around the corner yeah. and that sort of thing. And again, that's not something that a human would necessarily do. They would just coast up to the front, lean over the front wheel and, you know, kind of move their cameras around, right? Yeah. So it's just some of these things that, that you're seeing, you're like, yeah, that's very obviously a robot because yeah. it's doing the same thing with precision every single time. Yeah, and that's going to be rinse, repeat. Exactly. Right? It's, and they're very cautious. Yeah, and that and that's, you know, we all know that obviously June 22nd was the date that may have te tentatively got, gotten pushed if something happened. Uh, June 28th, they're going to do the first delivery of the Model Y. That's what I'm pumped for. That's, that's going to be super, super exciting, especially the ones built in Austin. Who knows, maybe at some point even um, a Cybertruck is going to be delivered by itself. Amazing. Uh, but yeah, we're just, you know, this is all what we've been waiting for. You know, I've been following Tesla since 2018. I got my first Model 3, seeing the autopilot and then full self-driving beta and all that stuff. 
Um, so this is kind of like, you know, uh, really, you know, as Elon would even say, again, kind of before the, the, the robot, is this is what is going to either make Tesla worth what it is yep. in the future, the big market cap, or, or nothing, right? Absolutely. And so this is, in my opinion, the moment that they continue to go from being a car company into an AI robotics company, right? Yeah, and, and for guys like you and me that have been following Tesla and supporting them for, for so long, you know, there's been a ton of anticipation kind of getting to this moment of having these vehicles without giant LIDARs on them on the road. And so now with, it's kind of, we've gotten to that point where all this anticipation is built up, and it's finally coming to fruition. Yeah. And really all the naysayers are being proven wrong. Yeah, and I mean, if you look at Waymo, they spend what, $180,000 just to build the rig. Right. And that's not a scalable model, right? Because Tesla is building, and, and what's so impressive about standing in front of this Model Y, is this is the build. This is RoboTaxi. The, this is RoboTaxi. Yep. So the, it's not this like, foreign concept or prototype and they have a prototype which is the cyber cab uh which they'll probably be doing production in the next six to twelve months but they already have a build for the robo taxi yeah. and for and we're gonna see they're they're gonna launch the the ride sharing app too right uh within the tesla app so that's all happening literally on sunday so a lot of big things happening for tesla again it's um i wanted to specifically talk with josh because i've been watching all of his videos yeah. and just seeing you know the, just the, that exciting moment of of really just these robo taxis out on the on the road and, and, and seeing them interact with people like they're tesla is not scared to go to places that are high population like south congress where we're where we've seen all those videos yeah of you know the robo taxi with the gold letters the guys in the passenger seat and then there's just crowds of people hundreds of people just crossing the road back and forth there's no like oh my goodness this thing's out of control no it's just it does its thing it's safe and people have no idea. It's not some big gaudy thing like a, yeah. like a LiDAR hanging off it and that yeah. sort of thing. They have no idea that that vehicle is driving itself right yeah. there. It's incredible. And Tesla's making this robo taxi profitably. Yeah. That's the crazy thing. At scale. At scale. So I, I think we, we had on our podcast this morning, we were talking about how all of the legacy auto, they're not making profitable EVs at all, even BYD. It's, no. And they're doing ma insane volumes. And yet Tesla has a version of the robo taxi that they're producing today they can produce more of these the model y's than the whole waymo fleet literally within a couple of days so yeah. it's 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 crazy it's exciting time um thank you josh for being yeah. the boots on the ground in yeah, austin man, absolutely we'll keep cranking it out uh, yeah follow josh west 24 7 on x and his youtube channel pretty much every every channel he's the same thing there yeah x instagram youtube everywhere TikTok, everything yeah. so uh, but yeah, very exciting times, and he will keep you updated as the boots on the ground. Awesome, man. Cool, man. Thanks, John. All right, yeah.